All right, what's going on, guys? I got a game today versus uh, Crazy Bonsley. This happened about... Um, I don't even know when the hell this happened. I'm not even going to look at the file or whatever. Uh, it was a decent match, but there was one, you know, little bit of hacks that came back to haunt me later, and, you know, I'll point out some stuff and whatnot. But for now, we'll just play it back. It's kind of short, but what if? We're good. Anyways, uh, right now. Okay, so as you can see, it's got 5th Gen. He's using some kind of pseudo rain team with... Uh, Polytoad, and then he's got a uh, Toxicroak, but that's really the only things that really benefit from rain, aside from Metagross, you know, taking half of fire. Anyways, uh, first turn, I'm gonna go ahead and point this out. Uh, his Donphan is gonna go for the Ice Shard, and actually, you know, see, seeing that damage, that's a crit. And that's gonna come back and bite me big in the ass later, but for now, all I can really do is I can U-turn, and uh, break the Sturdy, and then we'll just come in with something else that can uh, hopefully one-hit KO from there. So, I go to Victini. Because uh, that's my plan. I'm gonna hit it with an HP ice and uh, see if that gets the job done. And I'm kind of thirsty. Hold on. And it does, which is cool. You know, nothing really big there. The, the crit really does suck, but not much I can do about it. Anyways, he brings in a Politoed to set up the rain. Like 90% of the Politoeds I've seen are scarf, anyways. So I'm just gonna go ahead and switch out and uh, go to Gyarados. You know, he's gonna lock himself in on a water move. Um, I do resist it. But he goes for the Hydro Pump and misses, and you know, that's kinda, that kind of sucks, but uh, I'm just going to set up right here. I have a Lumberry on this Gyarados, and uh, you know, if he's locked in on Hydro Pump, it's not going to hurt that much, but he's not. I learned that he's not locked in on anything, so he switches up and goes for the Scald. Having both on the same set is kind of weird to me, but whatever. I normally only see Hydro Pump on Scarf sets, but it seems to work out for him, so whatever. Anyways, uh, he goes for two Scalds, does not burn me on either one, does not activate my Lumberry, so what I should have done, I should have kept setting up. I really should have, because this is the perfect thing to set up on, and, you know, I just didn't want to have it come down to, like, a fucking, uh, you know, a Stone Edge miss or, you know, Waterfall not doing enough damage. I wasn't too sure about it, but I have Moxie on this guy, and, uh, yeah, in comes Porygon 2. And what am I? I'm, like, plus two? Three with the rain or something like that, and it still doesn't kill. And I'm thinking maybe one more. I I don't know. I'm not 100 on that. It doesn't look like it. But uh, I what I should have done is I could have I should have kept setting up as long as I could have. Because now uh, actually even with one more dragon dance, you know, uh, it would have done enough damage for Thunder to kill. Because it leaves it low, 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 low red, and it goes for pain split. And like the fuck, I didn't even know P2 got pain split. I'm not even sure if it does. But if he's running it, then it does. Because whatever. Reco recovers better on this thing. But uh, I'm gonna go for the Psychic as he goes for T-Wave. I'm like, well, you're being really fucking... This is... I, I can't fucking handle this right now. He's gonna go with the T-Bolt. Uh, thankfully, with the download, he only got the uh, attack boost, not the special attack boost. Otherwise, you know, that would have added some major insult to injury there. Especially because I had to kill myself off in order to kill him off. And uh, that Thunderbolt should have done a job, but whatever. Anyways, in comes Wargle, and here's where that crit comes back to haunt me. Because he does have the Vacuum Wave. Uh, I haven't run calcs, but I would assume that I could take that from half health, you know, it being neutral and everything, I, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, if I had taken him out with Brave Bird, which I did go for, I wouldn't have taken an Ice Punch here. And I uh, would have had more health from after I set up the sub, he would not have taken out the sub, he would not have taken out the sub in the first place, is what I'm trying to say. So there's a little chain of events that happened here, uh, just because he got a little too much on that Ice Shard. So he's going to go for the Ice Punch, take out my sub as I go for an Earthquake. I mean, that's undoubtedly going to take him out. But he has, I believe he has, what, two things left? Uh, which I think are going to be a Metagross and a Slow. We're going to see the Metagross next. But uh, I wouldn't have taken all that damage from Ice Punch. I don't know whether or not I could have taken a Meteor Mash. I have not run Calcs on that. The only thing I ran Calcs on is the very last turn, which I'll show you guys. But uh, yeah, he goes for the Meteor Mash, hits it. Uh, with roughly 50% more, I want to say I might have been able to take that since I have max HP, but I'm not a, like I said, I'm not 100%. So anyways, I'm going to go with a fake out just to, uh, get some damage on it. It really wasn't all that worth it thinking about it. But, uh, I gotta get some damage on it anyways, you know, I kind of want to see what item he's running as well. Um, you know, I didn't see life or anything, so it could have been choice. Uh, I don't know. But high jump kick doesn't do the job, which really sucks. So I'm going to go into Manetric right now. As much as I want to go for the Flamethrower, it's only going to be... It's affecting this is going to be cut in half, and I didn't think it was going to kill, so I thought Stab from there was probably the uh, safer option. Now here's the thing I did Calx on, and I was thinking about it, and after I did Calx, I was like, derp, no shit, it's going to do the same damage. But 
he has a swallow and he's not guts yet but uh he didn't he didn't get the opportunity to bring it in and activate guts but if you think about it facade 60 with stab goes up to 90 brave word is 120 boosted to 180 with stab cut in half is 90 so it's the same damage any way you cut it you know he would have been able to take out my man in one shot and I'm able to take him out with a T-Bolt, so that's a narrow 1-0 thanks to that stupid first turn hacks. Man, that gets me mad. But I'm alright. Um, so, yeah, that was a good game. Pretty close and all that shit. Um, what is today? Today's Wednesday. That'll do it for today. Uh, probably have a decent upload on Friday. Not that this one wasn't decent, but, you know, I'll bring a, a better match as well. I gotta screen record some more files and, uh, yeah. Um... Wow, this upload is really fucking short. I don't even know what to talk about. I'm just going to cut it here. Okay, bye.